And welcome to Moonlight Shadows. This is a collective pick a card for what is he or she hiding from you. We have three piles today. Pile one, pile two, and pile three. Pile one is Botswana Agate. So I'll get a close up of that one. It's really pretty. Pile two is green calcite. And then pile three is the rose quartz. So go ahead and choose your pile. Think of your person. Choose from the heart, and we will go ahead and get started. Hey, pile one, if you chose this pile, you have the Eight of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy. I feel like this person is currently working on something. They're in solitude with the wall. It's like you're not in communication with this person. You could be at a distance. This person is working on something within themselves, and they want to be left alone is what I'm getting with this particular card. You also have not the right time. So I feel like right now there's no communication with this person. They have their walls up. They're working on something. They have some type of healing that they're trying to do or overcome some type of a burden or obstacle. This person could be very burdened with this mountain here. They could also have Aries or um, Leo Sagittarius. I'm getting fire energy here um, with this card here. They're very like persistent. They're very stubborn. They have their back towards you. They're not budging. It's like they've put a wall up. They're protecting themselves because they're going through some type of a burden or challenge. This person has walked away from the relationship. They're hiding that they're going through some type of financial difficulty, emotional imbalance. They're hiding something with the moon here. If you look at this card, it does have the moon. So it's like they're hiding how they're feeling. They've walked away. They've chosen to go solo and they don't want to burden you with whatever challenges they're currently facing. This person could have gone through a tower moment. They're not talking to you because, or if they are talking to you, they're hiding the fact that they're extremely stressed with the Nine of Swords. Something is really stressing them out, but they don't want you to know that. And that's why they could be a little cold, standoffish for distance and not wanting to work on a relationship. You have the Eight of Pentacles twice. If this is about a relationship, I feel like this person is hiding the fact that they're trying to work on healing their own mental health. They're not telling you that they're sad or that they're healing. They could come off as pretending like to be rainbows and butterflies with all of these colors here. It's like they're showing that they're happy, but in reality, they're stressed out and they don't want you to know that. So they're hiding that they're hurting. They don't want you to know um, that they're healing from a situation that they've walked away from. They're trying to overcome this burden. 202, this person could have walked away from a relationship and is starting something new with you, or they're healing from a breakup from the past in general, or just something that happened in the past is burdening them. They're healing themselves and they're working on their inner um, strength with the three colors here i feel this is root chakra throat chakra and heart chakra energy 222 this person is trying to restore balance within themselves and trying to heal as um they continue to grow as a person in their spirituality or just heal in general mind body and spirit this is being illuminated to you for some of you, you kind of had an idea that something was going on but it's like they don't want to tell you the truth they're kind of like looking away like they don't want to admit that they're going through some type of stress anxiety that they're healing from um, but that's what this person is hiding from you is that they're hurting and they don't want you to know they don't want to burden you with their problems is what i'm getting this person is like has a lot of light within them but they're still healing they're starting to heal their heart it's like slowly stitching up the pain from the past so those are the messages. Let me know if that resonates. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe if you like a personal reading. The information is in the description box below. I send you lots of love and light. Bye, guys. Hey, pile two. If you chose this pile, I feel like this person is extremely stressed out over a situation that ended with you. They're not talking to you. They feel very burdened. They could be going through the dark night of the souls. They have a lot of love for you, and they feel like they made a very bad decision um, with peaceful resolution. They're trying to find a way in this car to heal or mend the situation with the pink this is very like loving energy archangel shamuel uriel coming through there's a lot of angelic protection in this union this person feels very burdened i feel like they've been illuminated by a spiritual guide about how they missed an opportunity with you this person feels very sad they have a lot of love for you here with the ace of wands this was a beautiful opportunity but i feel like they just sat on this opportunity and then it's like the tree is starting to be like dark at the bottom. So I'm seeing like this person had a beautiful moment with you. And I'm hearing this magic moment and they let it slip through their fingers. They left or ran away because they thought that they could find something new. And you were kind of in the background wondering what's going on. This person thought that they had some type of victory by leaving the situation. 
with you, but now they're realizing that they love you with the page of cups here, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, they're kind of like, look at the eyes on this cat, it's like, they're kind of in shock, like, what did I just do, like, why did I walk away from this person, they want to come back and have peace restored within this union, the seven of wands, they could have been very, um, cold or defensive towards you because they didn't want to get hurt, so they ran from this union because they knew that there was love and they were afraid because of the overwhelming emotions. They're hiding the fact that they feel bad for moving on from you because it's like they left you, but at the same time you gave them something and they hold on to it. It could be like a locket, a necklace, a pendant, uh, even a bracelet. I'm getting mala beads for some of you. There's some type of jewelry or something that you gave this person as a gift. They hold on to it and they walked away from you, but they still love you and they think of you every time they see this gift. It's like he has his hand open like, what did I do? Like he wants to reach out, but he has moved on, he or she. Um, with the spiritual union, this was a beautiful union, but they're hiding the fact that they're burdened because they walked away from this union. They still love you. They're hiding that they loved you even though they're not with you. And they want to have some type of peaceful closure is what I'm getting because they do care about you. They might act like they don't care. They're stressing out over the fact that they love you. They want to be with you. The peaceful resolution. They're hiding that they're stressing out because they feel extremely guilty about what they've done. I feel like this is like their spiritual team, spirit guides, or angels, ancestors that are telling them that what they did was wrong. They want a death and rebirth with the death card here. It could be Scorpio. It don't have to be. But it's like they realize they screwed up by letting this love slip away. And they want to come back towards you. This could be an ex or a friend that didn't want to step up to the plate, 303. They want to rekindle the relationship in some way, shape, or form. But this person is stressed out. They're hiding the fact that they love you. Um, and they're not showing that to you. But they might come back and tell you that they want to mend the situation or the relationship. This could be a friendship or love. But I feel like it's more love because we have spiritual union. So this person is now hiding the fact that they have been illuminated to the truth of this situation and they feel very burdened because they let you go. So those are the messages, 333. Synchronicities could be coming through for some of you. Um, but those are the messages. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe. Let me know if this resonates. If you like a personal reading, the information is in the description box below. Bye, guys. Hey, pal three, if you chose this pile, this person is meditating, hiding the fact that they're connecting with their spiritual guides about this particular union. This person could be trying to work on their spirituality and maybe they're not telling you that they're trying to connect with their guides about you. This person is trying to find the strength with this card here um, to speak their truth. You guys could have a bear, totem animal, or a have Leo in your chart because the eight of the strength card is all about tapping Leo energy and strength to speak your truth. It's like this person thinks about you, but they're hiding that they wonder and try to connect with you is what I'm getting. They're connecting spiritually with you, or they're trying to see the potential outcome of this future because they are attracted to you is what I'm getting. Um, this person definitely loves you with the king or queen of cups here. Um, there's a lot of love here, but they're hiding it. They're kind of like keeping their emotions bottled up. Like it's causing conflict. They're stressing out over how to talk to you and tell you how they feel when or when they want to start a new beginning with you with the nine of cups here. And there is two nines here, so nine nine. It's like they're stressing out and they want to change that into something positive. One eleven. You could be intuitive, they could be intuitive, but they're hiding the fact that they can connect with you in one way, shape, or form on a spiritual level. They're hiding that you actually make them very happy with the nine of cups here. There's a lot of emotional fulfillment. They're hiding the fact that they're afraid that this relationship, if it's gonna work out or not, they're looking for a sign, they're asking the universe to help guide them to see if this is actually something that can be a positive outcome. Accelerated motion, which is the eight. I feel like this person is very spiritual. You're spiritual. This is a divinely guided union, one, four, four, as I said that. It's a new beginning as a result of an ending of something from the past that this person has overcome. But this person could be a star seed or asking the galaxy, the universal energies um, to manifest you into their life. This person is very spiritual. They seek guidance from the divine and they are receiving messages about you with accelerated motion. This person is going to take action towards you. They've received some type of download through their meditations with this four of cups here. This person prays or meditates every night and asks the universe for them. I feel like the angels and guides are listening and um, there is going to be positive movement. Two, two, two. Balance is going to be restored. This person is going to have the strength to come towards you. 
and tell you exactly how they feel. They think about you a lot at night or just in general. You pop up in their mind a lot. I'm hearing you're always on my mind, so they are definitely thinking about you. They're hiding the fact that they want to move things up a notch. They want to move things forward. They want to be in a relationship with you. If they're already in a relationship, they want to be in a more committed relationship with you. They want to think, get things a little bit more serious. But this person is connecting with their angels and guides and the universal energies and their universal consciousness. And this person is realizing that there is potential to have a happy union with you. And this person is going to take action to reach out to you with accelerated motion 303. As I said that, it is the beginning of a beautiful partnership. If you're already in a partnership, it's just going to get better with the accelerated motion. This person is going to take action towards you. This person also likes your chest area. If you're a female, if you're a man, it could be just very broad shoulders and they like that about you. Something about your hair as well or just the way you present yourself. It's like you show enough skin. If you're a woman, that keeps them wanting to come towards you. If you're a man, the way you dress is very, um, like you're very confident and you're very charismatic is what I'm getting. Um, you have that a little something, something that basically makes them want to come towards you. So three, four, three, I feel like there's a beginning of stability in this partnership in general, but this person is hiding the fact that they want to be more than friends. They want to be more than just a regular boyfriend and girlfriend. They want to be more than the current um, relationship where they're at right now. They want to move this up a notch and um, take things to the next level. So those are the messages. Let me know if that resonates. 404, as I said that, um, which means a new beginning and a stable commitment, which is amazing. So let me know if that resonates. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe. If you like a personal reading, the information is in the description box below. Thanks, you guys. Lots of love and light. Bye, guys.